Hello Aquarius, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So just take what resonates for you and applies to you. Check out the description box. I have um, links to all the different playlists for each sign so you can check your other placements. And let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Aquarius. I'm looking, uh, I'm using, not looking. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? This reading is for those of you that are single, have someone in mind, are already in a connection. It could apply to any of you. So we'll see what we get. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? Oh. I believe that was sloppy shuffling, so I'm going to try that again. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? Purity, clarity, and innocence. I'm getting like fresh, new, clean slate. Also clarity as in like, you know, so, so crystal clear that you could see like a water, like water like your reflection in the water. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this could be some, this could be um, another air sign that you're dealing with or someone with like air qualities, air traits, you know, adaptable, um, intelligent, great communicators, et cetera, et cetera. Some of you, there could be an age difference here. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I, however this, this might be. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm getting a lot like someone there's there's an age difference and it could even be um, a difference in experience. Like maybe this is someone that maybe you or this person, maybe you don't have a lot of experience with like long term relationships or something like that. Tell me more for Aquarius or what is coming towards Aquarius in love. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? Who or what is coming towards Aquarius in love? Patiently waiting. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Interesting, Aquarius. So this could be somebody that's been waiting for you or you've been waiting for them. True love. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for someone like this. All right, let's see. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aquarius in love? What do we need to know? Let's see what we get for you, Aquarius. This is the Northern Animal Tarot, by the way. I always get questions about this deck. <laughs> Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, the Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy, Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups Reverse. Interesting. The Sun at the bottom of the deck. So with the Queen of Swords, I got Open Honest Communication. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then the Queen of Pentacles is also here. And the Hermit Reverse, so the Hermit Reverse, I'm thinking about someone that um, comes in, uh, comes, okay, comes into town. So this could be somebody that like left, um, maybe you knew them a long time ago, or they, they moved to somewhere new, for example, and now all of a sudden they meet you. I'm also getting someone that perhaps you haven't talked to in a while could be as well um, I'm also getting I'm getting a lot of messages sorry I'm just throwing them out there in case they resonate but I'm getting someone that maybe is typically shy but isn't with you let's see what we get here and I also am curious about yeah there thank you spirit ten of, I was gonna say I'm curious about this two of cups reverse and there's the ten of swords seven of wands 
So I'm thinking, you know, a disconnect, a separation, um, maybe a fight or, you know, some sort of conflict that might have happened in the past here. Um, or this could happen in the future. Maybe it could happen with this person. Um, it doesn't have to be something big. Like it doesn't have to lead to a breakup. Maybe that you just don't agree on something or something like that. Okay, let's let's get into the, um, clarifying these energies. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords about for Aquarius? Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so I'm getting like serious talks here. Taurus energy. Um, I feel like you and this person, the communication is going to be great. Um, I feel like this person, there's someone that they don't really hide who they are. Uh, like I'm getting someone that's like they're an open book. And I think you've been waiting for someone like this. Someone that, you know, is like what you see is what you get. I feel like you know, this person is talking to you about the future. Or maybe when you meet them, the conversation is so great that you're already imagining a future with them. Because the emotions are there, Queen of Cups. We also have the sun at the bottom of the deck. So I, I, I sense, you know, a happy connection. You know, we have true love here on the board. I mean, it does not get any better than that. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Could be dealing also with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo is very strongly here. Taurus is here. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely someone communicating with you. Page of Pentacles, making you some sort of an offer. An offer that is small, but leads to something pretty steady here. I, I get the sense that this could be a connection that uh, moves quickly, but not because you and this person are rushing into things, but because it's just that good. Four of Cups. Interesting. So I feel like this is someone that might be very eager and uh, maybe it will take you some time to open up to this person. Why is the Four of Cups here? Because we had that Seven of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe it's too, too much too soon. Because I feel like this person, they definitely want to... Um, you know, this Ten of Pentacles is very... Like from Page of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles, it's a leap. So I feel like maybe for you, it's just, you know, it's you're not ready for all that, all this, but you want to at least see where it goes, you know? I'm not ready for long-term commitment like that, but there's definitely potential here for that. And for some of you, I feel like it scares you a little bit. And others of you, I feel like um, this is what you've been waiting for this whole time. You've been waiting for someone like this, someone serious, someone that means what they say. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. This person could be a business owner. Yeah, King of Swords. This is someone that is, um, they are very direct. Uh, there's no no secrets, basically. This is someone that, yeah, they're, they know what they want. They're gonna tell you what they want when they, when they meet you, when you talk. It's gonna be, yeah, and there's a Four of Pentacles. So I feel like, you're going to be maybe taken aback by this person in the seriousness or the directness. Um, I feel like this person is going to tell you, you're it for me. You're exactly what I want. You're exactly what I'm looking for. Let's not play games. Uh, I'm serious about you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I feel like this is going to be, it starts a new cycle for you. And I feel like you're going to be very happy with this person with the Ten of Cups, the higher font. Um, I don't think you're afraid of commitment. I just think that, you know, it might just be very intense. You know, <laughs> the, the connection might be a bit intense and maybe you're a bit guarded or protective over your heart um, because it's so new. You know. So why this Two of Cups? I've been wanting to get to this. Why is the Two of Cups reverse? What's this about with the Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups reverse, Spirit? Three of Cups? 
Why is the two of cups? Nine of cups. Interesting. So this could be a, um, a reunion of some sort. Coming together after maybe not being together. Um, maybe this is coming together after a disagreement or after conflict or after um, something maybe didn't work out between you. Because I have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I get this sense of waiting for someone. Um, for some of you too, this could be a past life connection. So something that happened in a past life maybe didn't work out, but you were meant to find each other in this life. Because I, I get the sense of someone being very happy to have connected here. You know, maybe this was their wish granted. Maybe this is all that they've been wanting is this type of a connection. Um, maybe you got together with this person because of a separation. So for example, you are recently single or they're re recently single. I see that as well because I see that this is very good energy. Nine of cups, three of cups, and the three of wands at the bottom of the deck tells me it was kind of like a long awaited reunion or a reunion that happened or a coming together, right? What's behind this? I'm just curious. Six of swords. So you remember when I was talking about like someone coming into town, moving. Um, so this could be somebody that, you know, you come, uh, you, you cross paths or they come to visit you, something like that. Um, I feel like this is someone that has left a, a situation or a, lo or a different location or, you know, wherever they lived and then they're, they're coming in um, and you cross paths, like I said. So I see a lot of really good energy here, Aquarius. I think that you've been patiently waiting for someone like this and they're finally here. And so I really hope that this resonates with some of you because I'm happy for you. Um, I, see, I see things moving in a really good direction. A whole new cycle in love here. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. Uh, leave me a comment as well if you'd like. Uh, you just want to say hi or tell me how the story resonated for you or claim this reading whatever you want to say i appreciate just hearing from you guys and um, i will hopefully be seeing you with another video very soon take care